Two courses I'd like you to take through, only because I could do one, but it might be interesting to do two. Um, and we'll do it in halves, because I'd like somebody to be with you individually who can take notes for you if you so choose. Would that be all right? Yeah. So what would be great for now is if you all get a, a pad uh, and or some paper and pen, each person. And pick a partner. And pick a partner. Maybe you have that already. So pick a partner. It's a, it's a, it's a nice opportunity to work with someone you haven't worked with today. Should you so choose to, or someone you have worked with a lot. Has everyone got a partner? No. And if you're not working on something for this evening, you can still go through that with something else okay. that it is that you wish to create in whenever time. Yeah. Cool. Pen and paper. You need pen and paper. The and the two people over there? Yeah, great. Okay. Yes? Are you okay, Heather? Do you need something? I've lost my pen here. Yeah, I've, I've lost my pen. Oh. There's, some, there's some there on the table. Heather, is this yours? Yeah, it's a good paper. Yes, thank you. Okay, it's just, just so I can use the right terminology. Because I'm going to take you through it as a group, the timing might be a little bit too fast for some and a bit too slow for others, so just bear with me. Uh, and maybe at times I will ask a question over the top of your thinking or speaking. Um, I'll try my best not to let people wait too long. But if you do find that at some point you've, you've responded to something and there's a big gap because other people are busy, just for yourself, ask the question, or actually the person with the pad and paper can say, and is there anything else? Just fill in with, and is there anything else? Okay? Uh, can I refer to what you're doing this evening as the sharing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do we know it's between 6 and 8 o'clock? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 6 and 7.30. Between 6 and 7.30. And it's a maximum of 10 minutes. Yeah. Yes. So if I say 10 yes. minutes, then that's up to 10 minutes. The 10 minutes sharing there between is, 6 and 7 30. Yeah, yeah. It can be That's, shorter. It can be yeah. shorter. And sometimes people in the past have decided to, for example, use 5 minutes of sharing, 5 minutes of feedback, and in the feedback decide how they want it. Okay. If I just say sharing, then we know whatever you do with that time. Is that okay? Uh, I'm going to ask you to get up in a second. Um, I think that's all we need to know at the moment. Okay, your partner, if you are going to be the secretary or, or the PA or the note taker at the moment or whatever you'd like to be, be beside the person. Just be beside the person. Don't be behind yeah. them so they're not just strange talking loud, don't be in front of them. And quite importantly, quite importantly, don't look at them. Look at what they are looking and listen and make notes. And the reason for that is, if you're looking directly at someone, you're inviting them to report back to you. We're not looking for reporting, we're looking for expanding of thinking. Okay, so just be beside. So would you mind just standing up with your partner and find the place in the room where you have got, where you could undertake a journey that still keeps you within the boundaries of this room? Hmm? You will walk a few steps. So if you're the note taker, be beside them. Check which person would the, the person who's going to explore their piece, that's the one without the paper, okay? Find out where you would like your note taker to be on your right or on your left. Just check it out. Stand on the other side. There'll be a side that's more comfortable to us. You could talk to them. Would you like me to be here? Would you like me to do this? Or it may not make any difference. Well, you could do, but you're going to walk forward. But what you, if you like the idea of the window, put yourself here so you'll be walking towards the window. Oh, okay. You will be walking. Oh, I see. Yeah? Okay. If, if you want me to repeat something I say, just raise your hand. 
Okay, I'll repeat it. Can you hear me if I speak at this volume? Yeah. Great, okay. Okay, you can, if you want to, close your eyes at the moment. You can keep them open, but try not to focus on any person, but just an idea of a head. And you're right now. Right now is, um, I don't know what it is, about 2 o'clock. Today it's Monday, okay. And I'd like you, when you're ready, to point for yourself forward to that place where you will be doing the sharing. And if it's something else you think of, just change the words for sh of sharing. Just point to where that will be. So that is in the future and it's between 6 and 7.30. And when you're ready, I'd like you to travel there in any way that you want and your note taker to come with you. And when you've stopped there, you are there now. You are actually in your sharing, experiencing. And I'd like you to notice and say out loud to the person who's taking notes, what do you see now? And you can keep your eyes closed for this. And still in your sharing that you're experiencing now between 6 and 7.30, what else do you see? What else do you see? And is there anything else you see in your sharing of your work? And when you're ready, notice what you're hearing, what you hear in your sharing now. And what else do you hear, if anything? What else do you hear? What else do you hear? And is there anything else at all that you hear? Is anybody else doing something? And if so, what are they doing? <coughs> and how do you feel? How or what do you feel 
as you're doing this or watching this during your sharing. And what's really important to you? What is really important to you? And what else is really important to you? And what's the essence? What is the essence of this sharing now? And when you're ready, take two or three steps forward into the future Let's say to around 8, 9 o'clock, right now, take two or three steps forward, further into the future, and turn around from there and look at the sharing you did a couple of hours ago. And just see if you notice anything else about it as you're looking at your sharing that you did a couple of hours ago. Is there anything else you notice? And you can share that again with the person that's making notes if you so yeah. wish to. And then finally, just notice on the journey that you took from the afternoon to your sharing, what were the significant steps you took? What were the significant steps that you took from the afternoon to the sharing as you're looking back over that journey from where you are? What did you do that was significant to get to your peace? And what else was important that you're noticing on that journey to your peace sharing? And maybe what was your first step? Maybe what was your first step looking back? What was the first thing you did that led to the creation of that work? And when you're ready, move back towards where you originally started. So at 2 o'clock this afternoon, move back towards the now and stop slightly in front of where you started. Stop slightly in front of where you started. 
also facing the same way, if you can, as to where you started. And just notice now what you know. You've got someone who's taken lots of notes, so you don't need to remember all of it. And just notice how it feels when you now think about the sharing you'll be doing. In terms of, is it easier to reach? Have you got some clarity around it? Is there some new information that's come about? Just anything you want to notice from here. And then spend a few moments just by yourself with your notes if there's anything else you want to write down for yourself with your notes. So hand over notes. Hand over notes. And the person who's just explored can just have a few minutes to add to if they want to and read it. And if it was in your own pad, yes, you're going to lose a few pages, um, probably. You can help each other. You can help to, to. So you can sit down any way you want. Just, just about three minutes or so. Especially if you can't move their writing or anything else, yes. Just a few more moments. You'll have time later to go through your notes. That's one thing I forgot to say, which is basically hand your own notepad over to the person. So in a minute you can do that for the next one. Okay, happy to swap over? Are you ready to swap? Yeah. You can always come back and grab some time to ask them, so just be good if you clear your mind so you're ready to take notes for them and to say, the person's going to take notes for you now, so we're swapping, give them your own notepad so it's actually in your own possession, that might be, that was the bit I forgot to say. Going to do a slightly different process this time. So, group B now, second group, if you wouldn't mind, think of somebody, um, a viewer, a potential viewer, uh, that you, whose opinion you really trust. Okay? It can be a colleague, a peer, it can be a friend. It can also be somebody you've never met. So it could be some famous or not famous person who really, you would love them to see the piece and feedback on it. Okay? So you can bring them into the room in your imagination for tonight. So pick somebody whose opinion you really trust, who you'd love to consult, who you'd love to have in the audience tonight as a viewer, whether they are one of the people here, or somebody you know, or somebody you've never even met, dead or alive. So if you want to bring Gandhi in, or some artist from 2,000 years ago, or, or the future, you can. You can use the younger and older versions of yourself as well. So you can, or Mickey Mouse, really any character you would like to hear from. And in this one, what I'm going to do is I'll talk you through actually asking that audience member, that trusted person, some questions, and they're going to answer it okay, via you. So I need just something to refer to. Um, trusted person? Mm. Just trusted mm. person? Yeah? Okay. I'm going to say try. So hand your pad over, your own pad, to the person who's going to take notes for you. We're going to go on a walk again. Do feel free to sit down at the end if you want to, but we're just going to walk to one place in a second. So again, pick a place in the room that you know you can take a journey to. Um... Where would you go to this evening if it's not the pub? Where would you go to this evening if it's not the pub? Group that's going to be exploring now. Where would you be this evening, maybe around 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, if it's not the pub? Home? Home. So if I say home or pub, that will be all right, yeah? You can fill in the other blanks, okay? So 
When you're ready, what I'd like you to do is, again, close your eyes, defocus from me, make sure that your note taker is beside you, not on your sideline, okay? So really stay out of reporting, yeah, maybe just behind. And when you're ready, what I would like you to do is journey to about half an hour after the sharing, or an hour after the sharing, which will be home or pub, okay? So when you're ready, you're going to journey to sometime after the sharing, in the pub or at home. And then just stop there when you get there. So the sharing's now behind you. It's happened. And you are there with your trusted person. And we're going to ask that trusted person some questions. And you're going to say what you hear them respond with. Okay? So a trusted person, you've just seen the sharing of this person. What is it you saw? What did you hear? Trusted person. What did you hear when you experienced the sharing of that piece? And how did you feel when you experienced this piece, trusted person? So how did you feel when you saw the sharing of that piece? What did it do for you? What did it do for you? What did it give you? Trust the person. What did it do for you? What did it give you? What was your favorite moment? What was your favorite moment or moments? What do you feel was really significant? What do you feel or believe was really significant about this piece that you have just seen, trusted person? And what, if anything, did you not like or found confusing? What, if anything, were you not sure about, you didn't like or you found confusing? We've got two more questions. What do you feel was the essence of this piece you just saw? What do you believe was the essence? of what you just experienced. And what one piece of advice would you give the artist as they go about making the piece that you have just seen? What one piece of advice, if any, would you give the artist as they go about making the piece you have just seen? And then when you're ready, again, you can just sit down somewhere with your notes, add anything else, check you can read them, <laughs> explore your final comment. <laughs> Okay. Are you all in possession of your notes? Yeah. Great. Right. And just a few final questions. I mean, first of all, just to ask, did you get any information from this? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I hope so. Okay. Um, so maybe just then some specific questions. Um, what do you know now that you didn't know before? And again, just make either a mental note of that or or note it down. Yeah. So just a few more questions to summarise. What do you now know that you did not know before? If anything. It's always if anything. And what, if any, may have been some major breakthroughs for you? And again, don't feel there have to be any. 
There may be, there may not be. What, if anything, will you do differently now to how you thought you might do it before? What insights have you made, if any? And that's two more questions. How will you progress this now? Or how will you take that thinking forward? Which you may already know. And what will be your first step? Or stepped. And what if anything surprised you as you were exploring your piece or heard about your piece from the trusted person? What if anything surprised you? And I'm quite happy for the rest of the afternoon to be around if you want any sort of one to one questions or stuff. I'm quite happy to do that if there's anything. That Just uh, close more formally. Yeah. There's a slight difference in format for those of you who need other guests where the, present, the presentation format is a lot more interactive as well mm -hmm. as this extended one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. possibility, so thank you for that.